The water cooler is brought to you by McKinsey Mist Naturally Pure Artesian Water. What does that mean? The water just comes bubbling up from some property up around the McKinsey. They don't have to put anything in it, and just as important, they don't have to take anything out of it. A lot of bottled waters come from city water sources and they have to fix it before they bottle it. I don't want that, do you? And welcome to the water cooler. Joining us is Brian Obi, and you have proposed, the owner of Fifth Street Market, and you've proposed this huge project, which is kind of fun to have it right here behind our water cooler. What is it, what is this going to be, Brian? Kind of describe uh, it for people. First, thank you, Rick, for your interest. And in, this is going to be truly an urban living development, uh, an opportunity for people in Eugene <clears throat> that really heretofore they have not. Um, we found great success with the market, and then success with the hotel, and it become Obviously, that people are enjoying this area, all the restaurants, the entertainment, the things to do. And so we want to create a opportunity for people to live here. Uh, Karen and I live uh, in this particular area. We enjoy it. We think uh, the rest of the community will enjoy it. And uh, it's really that simple. In an area that uh, is, uh, is truly a market district, we would hope to have the farmer's market involved. We hope to have artists involved and entertainers and uh, you're talking about a grocery maybe, store maybe, as well too aren't you yeah we'd anticipate that there would be a market and uh, a grocery store type if you will that uh, would be unique to this area and would you know hopefully add more impetus for more residential development in that part of the world. So you would have in this, as I understand the proposal, some high-end housing, some high-end condominium type things, and then also some, some moderately priced housing for the people who actually work at the market to be able to live and stay all in the same area, very sustainable community you'd be creating. That's correct. We have um, a partnership with uh, the Lane Housing Authority uh, where they would provide workforce housing, and this is for people that are working, that have jobs, need a place to live, perhaps they can walk to work, those kind of things uh, it will be integrated into the rest of the project. And it'll be multiple levels of, of housing. Certainly it goes from workforce to penthouse, but there'll be uh, uh, you know, small units and large units and just the opportunity for uh, people in Eugene to come together in, in a variety of ways. So the county owns the land, you'll lease it for 99 years. How much do you expect this whole project to cost? Do you have any idea? Uh, it is estimated that uh, it is somewhere around $75 million, and that will depend on how many units, how many square feet of retail space, et cetera, et cetera, as, as we develop it. And you have other investors involved with this project? Uh, at this point, we do not. We anticipate that there will be. Uh, that is our style. There are other people that seem to want to, to invest in it and carry on from what we've done at the market. You think Eugene can handle something like this, Brian? I think Eugene's going to love this. It is. Uh, uh, a real game changer as to living opportunities in this community. I mean, this is uh, going to be an opportunity for people that live in an urban village, if you will, in a very urban kind of setting, and uh, where the, the you know the sounds, the streets, and etc. are around you, but so are a lot of restaurants and nightclubs and shed entertainment, Cuthbert that you walk to. Uh, we walk to athletic events all the time at the university, walk to the halt. This will be a phased-in project, too. You think, how long would this whole thing take? I, I expect that, uh, and it is my hope, that we, within two years we would break ground. And um, for at least the uh, major part of the project, uh, it would be completed within a year thereafter. All right. Brian Obi, thanks for coming in and talking with us Thank on the Thank you for having me. Yeah, this is going to be fun to watch it happen. Got to get out my soapbox just for a minute. What oftentimes happens with a project like this is there'll be public hearings. The opponents will come out in full force and only their story is heard because people who support a project like this stay home thinking, I don't need to say anything. You do need to say something. Everybody needs to be involved in the process. Okay, I'm done.